Hello and welcome in this video for this exercise. You want to calculate the value of square root of 50 times 51 times 52 times 53 plus 1. Obviously, the calculator is not allowed. And to do that, we are going to use the trick we saw in a previous video. So, let's begin. Every time you deal with a square root, it's always interesting when the quantity below the root is a perfect square. For example, if you want to calculate square root of x squared, this is easy, this is x. So, this trick we saw in a previous video, this is to spot the smallest number between 50, 51, 52, and 53. Okay, this is 50. And to set x equal 50. Then you express the other numbers function of x. So 51, this is x plus 1. 52, this is x plus 2. And 53, this is x plus 3. Now, you plug this value in this quantity, and at the end, you obtain x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 1. Then, you multiply the first term and the fourth term. So, let's distribute. x times x, this is x squared, and x times 3, this is 3x. You do exactly the same with the second term and the third term. x plus 1 times x plus 2. x times x, x squared. x times 2, this is 2x. 1 times x, this is x. And 1 times 2, this is t. And you don't forget to add 1 at the end. Then, you can do the math between 2x and x. And you end up with x squared plus 3x times x squared plus 3x plus 2 plus 1. In this quantity, you can note that you've got the same quantity two times. x squared plus 3x, x squared plus 3x. So, you can set capital X equal x squared plus 3x. So, now let's plug capital X in this equation. Capital X times capital X plus 2 plus 1. You can distribute and obtain capital X squared plus 2 capital X plus 1. At this stage, you recognize the remarkable identity. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. This is A plus B squared. So the quantity below the root can be written as capital X plus 1 squared. So if you recap, the quantity, square root of 50 times 51 times 52 times 53 plus 1, can be written as square root of capital X plus 1 squared, which is capital X plus 1. We know that capital X, this is X squared plus 3X. And remember, at the beginning, we set x equal 50. So now you can write that capital X plus 1, this is x squared plus 3x plus 1. This is 50 squared plus 3 times 50 plus 1. And this is 26 
151. That's it for uh, this exercise. Please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. And uh, I thank you for watching this video. And I see you soon for a uh, next video.